Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be working on JJ just a little bit today. I'm going to be doing a little AC maintenance. And uh, normally you don't have to do air conditioning maintenance. But I have one of my little, I guess it's a Schrader valve that's hooked to the low pressure line. When I have the correct amount of coolant in the line, it leaks a little bit. And it still cools, uh, but the air compressor shuts on and off more than it should. So anyway, I'm gonna, I got another Schrader valve to put in that spot. I know that's the spot that's leaking. And I'm gonna put that on today. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's get to it. And before we get started, I wanna give a shout out to uh, Ed over at uh, Carbon's DIY Garage. He's one of my buddies. I check him out every week. He checks my videos out every week. We always comment. We communicate to each other every week. Small YouTube channel. He has just restarted and he has 27 Jeep TJ videos. 97 Jeep TJ and it has a 2.5 like mine does. So I'm going to leave the link down in the description. Y'all go click that link. Go check him out. I promise you you should like that content. His video is very similar to the videos on my channel so go over and check him out if you like him blow him up subscribe to him he's got like less than 50 subscribers right now let's see if we can make him climb up over 100 really fast so y'all go give him some support and some love you'll like you'll like ed he's a real personable guy and very well spoken so we're at harbor freight right now and i'm just gonna go in and i'm gonna pick up my line disconnect tool <laughs> Okay guys, we're back from Harbor Freight. I ended up buying the cheapest thing that they had. They had some that was way more expensive. That would be way better. But I don't need grade, I just need functional. So I gotta figure out which one of these I'm gonna be using. It's either gonna be this one or this one. I think it, maybe that one, could be that one, not sure. I'll have to find out. So I'm fixing to release the line and take the orifice out and we'll check it out and see how clean or dirty it is all right i've got my tool in place i'm gonna see if i can release it it's kind of hard to get my hand down in there i won't block y'all's view i'm sorry about that but all i'm doing is pressing in on the Fitting. Okay. Wasn't as easy as I hoped it would be, but this little tool did the job. And you can see way, I don't know if y'all can see that. Way down in there is the orifice. And I got to get that out somehow. I don't think it's supposed to be quite that far down in there. My orifice was like way down in there. And I was trying to figure out how I was going to fish that out. And lo and behold, while I was over here looking at my tools, that thing blew out. So it still has some pressure in it. It landed over here. You can see where it sprayed little specklets of oil everywhere. Got it on my Jeep. Got it down in here. So anyway, made a mess. But anyway, I checked my orifice. This is it. And it was clean enough. It's not perfect, but I got a brand new one to put in it. And we're going to get that put in now and get it juiced back up. I 
That's right. I got my line back on down there. You just grab it and snap it back in. You'll hear it click. Now I need to take this right here off. Uh, close it. And this little valve down in here, that's what I got to change out that's leaking. So my uh, air conditioning gauges came with this little Schrader valve remover tool. goes down in there like that right there and you just unscrew it just like that right there so I got a new one in the house let me go get it all right guys got my new straighter valve or whatever you call it And there we go. Put this back on. Open it up. Make sure that one's open. Now I'm ready to hook a vacuum to it. So what I use for a vacuum pump, the last time you, the, I did the air conditioner job, I borrowed a friend's vacuum pump. This is what I've come up with. It is a refrigerator compressor out of a refrigerator that somebody discarded. And listen how quiet this thing is. I'll show you how connected uh, to the vehicle in a minute. It's on right now. I can hear the vacuum getting pulled. But you can't hear this at all. I mean, there's no sound. All I hear is a little air coming out where the vacuum's being pulled and it's getting less and less. So how I have it hooked up is I have a piece of rubber hose. This will have two lines. One will be where the vacuum will release one will be the line that pulls vacuum in so i put a rubber hose over that line and all i did is put uh zip ties to that came up here and that hose was uh big enough to go over my hose that goes to my gauges i cut the end off that hose this was a sacrificial hose i cut the end off just to make this piece and if it needed to be tied or i could have put a clamp right there that's all that's, that's how simple it is and now you can see it's uh getting it's over it's about 25 inches of mercury and it will go all the way to 29 because i used it on my brother's mustang the other day to uh, get the air conditioning going on it so it works great i'm gonna let that pull vacuum for 30 minutes and it is 4:37. So we'll come back at 5:07. Okay, it's 5:12, and vacuum is holding. Vacuum's holding right about 29 where I thought it would go. Pump is still running. Can't hear it. So now I'm going to close off my gauges. all right got just closed off now i need to change this line i've still got it running let me unplug it all right all right Got my compressor unplugged. 
put my coolant line up now. Okay, I've got my coolant hooked up, got my gauges connected, everything. Uh, now I'm gonna crank up the Jeep, cut the compressor on, and let the coolant go in. I've got the engine running. I've got to open these valves here. The compressor had just kicked on one time. There it goes again. And as the pressure builds up, it should stay on longer and longer. Okay, the first can is empty, I can tell. So uh, I'm, I'm going to need to uh, change the can out for another one. Okay, I closed my gauges off here at the gauge body. And now I'm going to release the can. Okay, that was 12 ounces that went in there. This system holds 20 ounces. So I need to use uh, 8 ounces out of the next can. And I'm going to do that by weight. I'm going to use this scale right here and weigh it as the, as the Freon leaves the can. Gotta open these gauges back up. Close enough. Well, I got the correct amount in the Jeep. The compressor is uh, still cutting on and off, so I don't know if it's because it's cool outside. It's 63 degrees, and uh, I believe the pressure switches may be doing something making it cut off. Here's some little finishing touches I got off Amazon. I'll leave a link to these down in the description below. Just I think it makes the hook look really, really good. Just little things here and there change the looks of a Jeep. Got JJ washed up and looking good. Hadn't got any tire shine on, didn't wash under the fender wells or anything, but that's good enough. I've also got the little shackle covers on back here as well well guys i know this video was kind of thrown together i was just going to do something to jj and thought i'd pull out the camera uh i've got some links in the description below for the uh shackle covers if y'all want to check those out please do uh clicking those links i'll always leave a little note at the bottom it don't cost you anything but it could possibly help me out if you purchase after clicking my link amazon will throw me a few cents on every purchase and it could help further the growth of this channel. Uh, I don't get a lot from Amazon, but I do get a little bit when somebody clicks my links and goes and buys a product. So anyway, check out those links and uh, see what you might be interested in purchasing. And remember to go check out uh, Carbon's uh, DIY Garage. Really cool channel. Uh, get on early, and you can say that you started with him when he had less than 50 subscribers. So let's blow his channel up if we can. And uh, I know I don't have a a lot of viewers every week but i have some faithful viewers and i thank each and every one of y'all for coming and watching hey i'll see y'all next time yeah, yeah.